Hello guys, welcome back to Beyond the Realms, and today I am going to be doing a video for my all-time favorite top 10 horror films. Now, if you followed my channel for a long time, I did this video a while back. Like, I, I went back and looked at my videos, and it was like exactly two years ago this month when I did this video. And you know... Over time, like I said, it was never meant to be a definitive list. Like, this is my top ten. It's always going to be this. You know, my tastes have changed since then. You know, some films have dropped out. New ones have came in. And many of them have stayed the same. You know, it just depends. And just like I said on that video, too, this is not meant to be your top ten or a definitive top ten of what I think everybody's top 10 should be. It's just my personal top 10, my favorite films of the horror genre. And this is really hard, even now, to narrow down. Um, you know, to do this all over again, it was very hard. But I'm very happy with this list. I think it's it's perfect for me and my likes and, you know, my current, um, you know, taste in horror films. Um, but I'm going to try to do this in one segment here. Um, you know, we'll see how this goes. This might be a two-part episode. I'm not sure. We'll see how it goes. But first up, I'm going to crack open this beer here, which is called Razor Hoof. Look at that cover. Look at that. Just amazing artwork. Just awesome. This is from Three Floyds Brewery in Munster, Indiana. I'm going to crack this open for this special occasion. Big ass bottle here. Got the glass. We're going to check this out. But yeah, guys, this list was very hard to narrow down. Um, I went through several revisions, but um, I'm pretty happy with what I came up with. I, I think that it's it's a perfect list for where I am at now with horror. Um, so yeah, chars to razor hoof. Mmm. Man, that is delicious. I tell you what, Three Floyds Brewery, they really make some kick-ass fucking beer, man. Damn. So, all right. Now, I'm going to try to stay away from too much descriptions of these films. Most of you already know all of these. Um, so, let's start right off. Number 10, which has dropped down a little bit on my list. That doesn't mean that I feel any different of it. It's just... Again, a very hard list to make. But number 10 is the original Frankenstein, which this is the Legacy Collection, but I'm going off the original film. I just absolutely love it. I mean, I, I can't ever see this film dropping out of my top 10. Um, I don't know. I, I just, I, I can't get enough of this film. I love it. It just so much, everything about it. Just an absolute great horror film, Frankenstein. Number nine. My all-time favorite vampire film, Nosferatu. And this is the new Blue K Kino Classics Blu-ray edition, which I did just recently do a review of, if you care to check it out. Um, guys, this film is just creepy as shit. I mean, yeah, it's not scary today. I mean, you're talking about a film that's 90 years old. Now, how could you possibly watch this film and still not think it's at least creepy, though? I mean, it just has a creepy element to it. Max Shrek... The perfect vampire. I mean, absolutely perfect in every way. Um, yeah, I just, I, man, I, I, I never get tired of this film. And this Blu-ray just adds a whole different element to it. But I'm not going to go into that because I already reviewed it. So, yes, number nine for me is Nosferatu. Let's have another drink of this beer here. Very delicious. Coming in at number eight is John Carpenter's Halloween. Yet another film I never get tired of. All of these films in my top 10 are no question. I give them a 10 out of 10. These are perfect films. And just like you, you know, if you make an all-time favorite horror film list, wouldn't all of them be 10 out of 10? And guys, who could who could question that with this film? Perfect slasher, just an absolute perfect film all the way around. I, I love it so much. I never get tired of it. You know, I, I, my tradition, which I'm sure is many of your traditions also, is 
I always watch this film right on Halloween. Like this this past Halloween, I watched it October 1st and October 31st. So I began and ended my Halloween marathon with this film. It's just a great, perfect way to end it. And I also do have the latest um, Digibook release of this. But in my opinion, this is the better transfer, the better version of that um, but that's for another day, right? Um, but regardless, the film is great. I love it. Just never get tired of it. Just a perfect film, in my opinion. Uh, let's see. Next up at number seven is a new entry to my top ten. Um, a film that is just... It's so underrated. I don't even know where to begin with it. And it is Vampire. This is, of course, the Criterion DVD version, which this is probably still to this day my favorite Criterion um, DVD or Blu-ray that I own. Uh, this film is just fantastic, guys. This is from 1932. It's basically a silent film. There is a few instances of talking in this, but not very much at all. Just a, a very bizarre, surreal, fever dream type film with just such incredible atmosphere and just a foreboding and, and just dreadful feeling to this film. It's just a true definition of a horror film, I think. Um, it, it's just so, it's very, very different. And, and just the way it was shot and the look of the film... It's just perfect to me. It's a perfect horror film, in my opinion. And I have really came to love this film over the past year or so. And I, I, it's just a film that's... It's, I watched it, and it's just stuck in my head. It's just, like, stuck there, fermenting, and I just cannot get enough of it. This film deserves a spot in my top ten, guys. And if you've never seen Vampire, I highly recommend checking it out. Um, you can watch this entire film on YouTube. Um, you know, it, it might not blow you away like it did me. Like I said, it's just one of those films that just really caught my attention, and I love it. But I highly recommend to check it out if you are into experimental, weird, bizarre, surreal, strange horror films with tremendous atmosphere. Highly recommend Vampire. Next up... At, let's see, number six is Lucio Fulci's classic, The Beyond. What can I say about this that you guys haven't already heard? Just a bona fide, absolute classic. Um, you know, there's so many of his films that I love and enjoy, but if I had to pinpoint one film that just it is his masterpiece and just totally defines Fulci. It is the beyond. I never get tired of this film. Um, I just absolutely love it in every way possible. This is the Arrow Video Blu-ray release, which is an all-region release. I highly recommend that if you like this film, or if you've never seen this film, just pick up this version of it. Great, great version of the film. Um, I just, I, I man, I, I can't say enough. It's just... The, the dreading, the foreboding. I mean, and some people may say, like, why do you like something like that? Well, to me, that's how a horror film should be, like a true horror film. This one really has that feeling. Fulci really captured this sense of hell, this sense of just, oh my God, everything is just fuck type mentality, you know? Like, Unlike anybody I, I think ever really captured, sure, there's more competent filmmakers than Fulci, you know, but he just captured this feeling uh, uh, that I've never seen. And this, this film just fully, completely embodies that, guys. Highly recommend The Beyond. Let's have another uh, drink of Razor Hoof here. Such a tasty beer with a delicious scent. <laughs> Okay, next up at number five, which has dropped a little bit, but still doesn't mean I, I care for the film any less, is George A. Romero's Day of the Dead. Love this film, guys. I mean, to me, the quintessential zombie film, perfect in every way. It fully embodies what 
a zombie film should be. There shouldn't be likable characters. It should all be assholes fighting for supremacy, fighting for for rule and everything. That's what this film embodies. Um, I love this new edition from Screen Factory. Totally awesome. Day of the Dead. Fucking great. Next up, I'm going to try to get through these here in five more minutes. Number four, a new entry to the top ten. It's jumped all the way up really high. This film, guys, fucking floored me. Unlike any film I've seen in a long time, and it is Carnival of Souls. This is the Criterion version. Um, it's a perfect horror film. Absolute perfect. There's nothing at all I would change about this film. Just such a great, great horror film. This is public domain. It's easy to see anywhere, guys. You must check out this film. Um, I, I just, God, man, I can't say enough good things about this. I've watched it so many times. 1962, you know, I had actually never seen this film until like last year, which is surprisingly, but it just, it, it struck a chord with me so hard, and I've watched it so many times, and it's another one like Vampire that just stuck with me. I love it so much, it jumped so high on my list, and I see it even going higher um, in the years to come. Carnival of Souls, guys. Next up, number three, it's dropped the spot, but again, awesome, doesn't take away from it at all. Stanley Kubrick's The Shining. Oh man, I, I never get enough of this film, you know, I, and I was fortunate enough to see this in the theater this year, and guys, it just gives you a whole different perspective on the film when you see it in the theater. I mean, it just, God, man, this, this film was made to be seen in a movie theater. It drew me in unlike any other time I've watched it. Um, but I just, anyway, I never get tired of this film. This is an awesome Blu-ray, one of the best catalog title transfers I've ever seen. Just so amazing to me. I could watch this film every day and never get tired of it, guys. The Shining. Number two, another one. And even more so that I don't get tired of. The Texas Chainsaw Massacre. This has jumped up on my list a little bit. I just, man, it's another one. It's a perfect horror film that I never fucking get tired of, guys. I just, I love this film so damn much. This Blu-ray looks so awesome. Oh, man. I mean, because it retains that old feel, but it's just great clarity and perfection to it. Guys, this film is just so amazing. So amazing. I mean, there's nothing I could say besides that. You guys already know, right? Texas Chainsaw Massacre. My number two horror film of all time. I fucking love it, man. I just, I don't see how any horror fan could not love this film. I mean, I'm not saying you're wrong if you don't, but I just don't understand how no horror film fan could not just adore this one and number one for me which is no surprise to anyone that knows me and this this will never change and it is the evil dead i just to me it's the ultimate horror film you know this is the ultimate experience in grueling terror but in my opinion the ultimate horror film i just I, I never can get enough of this ever since i was a kid guys this has been my favorite i really can't possibly see any other film ever overtaking this from my all-time favorite I love it so much. I've seen it so many damn times. I can't even tell you how many times I've seen it. And I just never, ever, ever get tired of it. It's just perfect in every way. And I just, I love it. So, yeah, guys, this is my top 10 all-time favorite horror films. And I figure, you know, since it's been two years, I figure it was time to update it. And maybe, you know, after, you know, a year or two, maybe I'll update it again. I mean, because, like I said, not a definitive list. This is subject to change. Um, you know, it just depends on my taste, on my feel, uh, just like I'm sure how most of you guys are. But guys, I hope you enjoyed this list. Um, you know, let me know. Comment below, comment on Facebook, wherever you see this video. Let me know what your top 10 favorite horror films of all times are, because I love see, I love lists. And I'd love to see and hear what your guys' list is. What are your favorite top 10 horror films of all time? But guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video, and I hope you are doing well, and I will talk to you soon, guys. Have a good one. Later.